What's good? What's good? Welcome to the Epic Entertainment Critics. I am Antoine. And I'm still James. And we are doing uh, trailer reactions. We are reacting to, what is this? Eternals. There's <laughs> 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 doing so much stuff, man. I kind of forgot what I was. <laughs> So we did not get a reaction up. This dropped like maybe three, four days ago. So we're going to do a reaction. Then we're going to give our thoughts on this. Uh, this is the final trailer. So you get our final thoughts on this movie. When we see this trailer, we should see a little more footage to give yeah. us more of an idea what this is going to be about or what it's look like. So um, let's watch this trailer and um, then you'll get our thoughts. Five years ago, Thanos erased half of the population of the universe. But the people of this planet brought everyone back with a snap of a finger. The sudden return of the population provided the necessary energy for the emergence to begin. How long do we have? Seven days. We're Eternals. We came here 7,000 years ago to protect humans from the deviants. Why didn't you guys help fight Thanos? Or any war, or all the other terrible things throughout history? We were instructed not to interfere in any human conflicts unless deviants are involved. By who? Oh, she lying. We need to find the others. I haven't seen some of them for centuries. Hi. Hello. This is what the end of the world looks like. At least we have front row seats. You know what's never saved the planet? Your sarcasm. We have loved these people since the day we arrived. When you love something, you protect it. Actually, this trouble. the perfect safe house. Well, what's this even made of? Vibranium. <laughs> Fall collection. IKEA. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. They, they finally <laughs> gave your boy some lines that fit his his uh, delivery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's Eternals, man. Final trailer. What you think of that? So. I do have one problem, and this is a nitpick from for the from a comic book perspective. Okay. So they can only interfere when there's deviants involved. Is that what they said? Yeah. My so but Thanos was a deviant. <laughs> Thanos was literally a deviant. He wasn't a, like he was born to a, to the Eternals. He was a deviant. You know what? When they asked that question, why didn't you oh. help with Thanos and all the wars and all that oh, stuff? Oh man! I know everybody's got quiet, turned around, looked. Yeah, so why <laughs> didn't you do anything? Yes, <laughs> good question. <laughs> We're waiting. Like, I'm glad you asked. Um, what's that over there? Because, <laughs> I mean, you ain't got no legitimate <laughs> excuse. Like, like I, I will allow if someone bigger and badder than you says, I better not catch you interfering unless the right. deviant's involved. Which Fine. they said, but I Fine. mean. But Thanos was a deviant. But like, says who? Says who, yeah. Y yeah. You can't use your power to help change nothing with them. But like, and Who also, said that? But also... If they're that big and bad, and they're not stepping in, and they won't let you step in, then it doesn't matter in the in the first place. Yeah, do your shit. 
Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, they they gonna have to do a little more finagling to get around yeah. that. <laughs> like, it, it's it's always a problem whenever you have to like allow for the existence of a of a greater power adjacent to a situation like this. It's like the yeah. whole thing with like. Uh, all the CW shows. Well, Superman's uh-huh. still on Earth at this at this time. Mm-hmm. Why didn't he show up for this world-ending event? Well, he was too busy doing this other stuff. <laughs> He's fighting Toy Man, his greatest foe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the terrible Toy Man. Yeah. <laughs> um, alliteration, gotta love it. Uh, but yeah, uh, the action looks good, though. Yeah, know? I mean, so I'm glad they show more action. Mm. Um I, uh, oh boy, it looked like Superman there. Uh, yeah, yes, he so does. So I'm like, uh, okay, Icarus. <clears throat> huh? I think it's his name, Icarus. Oh yeah, I don't know everybody's name. Yeah, they had their names up there, but I'm like, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, uh, I feel like these are just kind of like Greek, uh, not Greek guys, but, I mean, they, but they another. Yeah. They're gods. They just, they just they're, pretty much. Uh, you uh, know what it is? They're the new gods. A new. They they're, just they're another. The, they're Marvel's version the of gods. The Greek gods. Yeah, you know. Uh, so that's cool. And they all got powers or whatnot. Uh, yeah. So I don't know where the story's going. But, yeah, at least they, they was like, are you where, you think? Because in the last trailer, they just showed old boy dancing and stuff. Like, nah, yeah. nah no, no dancing nah. here. Like, <laughs> we, I did not come here for Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> I came here for Eternals. I well, Guardians some, has some decent action. But, like, what I'm saying is Eternals needs to be on a higher level. Yeah. It's got to be on a higher level. So who are they fighting? Great question. Who was that guy uh, who? They called, like. The subtitles called him Crow. I don't like. I don't know a lot about the Eternal, so right. I don't know. I don't know who nothing the about are. them. Um, There's so, a couple of YouTube channels I can go to, and yeah, probably I, I've been meaning to like them. get myself educated on these characters and like what they get into. The only thing I've heard is that chances are, by the end of it, one of them is going to be a villain. Okay. And I don't know nothing about that. I think, like someone said, Sprite is supposed to be a villain. Or really, that one? Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> and that could be me misreading. I was hoping something. that they that 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 was she was gonna die, or I, I mean, because usually the the little the plucky one, the plucky one, uh, properly named Sprite, yeah. <laughs> is the one that's gonna die. That's gonna make everybody else mad and get everybody and to go serious mode. Yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, and again, this that's how they do these. Like I, before y'all get in the comments and talk about me speaking on stuff I don't know about, because every time <laughs> I press Just don't talk about the Witcher. Yeah, yeah. No, every time I, I go out of my way to say, now, I don't know I, I don't know this verbatim, so take this with a grain of salt, but what I've heard is such and such and such and such. Man, James, I got James, five paragraphs yeah, how you don't know shit. James <laughs> always talks, with, he's so arrogant, and he always acts like he knows, you need to stop talking about stuff. Look, I, this this is the job. I'm I'm speculating. And I'm letting you know I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but this is some stuff I've heard and some implication I've drawn. So whatever, come at me. I don't know. You ain't gotta worry about that. Just yeah. just say your opinion because yeah. I say from the beginning, it's stuff I do know about and stuff I don't know yeah. as far as uh, uh, Marvel and comic books uh, movies. And this I have no clue like, about none of this because the Eternals have so never been on my. Show, I'm not gonna be so. like, oh, this that this that. I'm just I'm just reacting to what I see, like you know what I'm saying. What, what I, I see now on the, in this trailer, that's the only thing I can talk yeah. about. What little I do know about Thanos, uh, I mean the Eternals, comes from me like looking up stuff about Thanos, you yeah. know, find out where he came from, how he ended up being the way he, he did. So like I don't know how much of the Eternals' backstory from the comics makes it into this, because mm-hmm. I because th- I think like officially in the MCU, Thanos isn't an Eternal, so right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but somebody coming from another planet ain't a big deal now at the now at the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> right. Yeah. So or they just come from another planet and like y'all ain't gods, y'all just from another planet. Y'all just aliens. I mean like I said, they are kinda like the cl- the Mar- Marvel's analogy to the uh the new gods. So like they're gods but they don't amount to <laughs> Right. But see, I'm one thing I am worried about is the villains? The villains just seem like a just a Mo- uh, CGI monsters. A CGI monster that I'm going to kill everybody. You know, it's like yeah. again. <laughs> uh, let's okay. So let's just can we ditch the CGI villains? The CGI just, villains just want to kill everybody for what reason? I, uh, just cause you know, it's yeah. like they never. Did, if you sat down and actually made them talk, they can't tell you why they doing what they doing. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, now. 
Thanos still maintains that his plan was Well, yeah, efficient. I mean, he, okay, Thanos is on, Thanos the only one because they actually, we got to know why he was doing what yeah. he did, da-da-da, you know. Instead Other of, villains is just. Instead of five minutes of really Somebody like Ronin or yeah. Apocalypse. No. It's just destroy Ooh. the world. Why? Hey, it's that guy with a CGI face. I don't know. <laughs> Get it. Right. So it looks like it's going in that direction. Now, yeah. I'm not sure. But seeing that villain, um, he's going to be big and bad and strong. Yeah. And and they're going to have to team up and beat him at the end in the boss fight, which is typical. Yep. So if you're going to do something different, don't give us the same old, same old structure on these movies. I'll yeah. be down for that. Same. I mean, if there, if there is a movie to do that, this is it. Yeah. Because these ain't your standard tough guy and superheroes. Like these, these, and I think it's important to draw that line. It's like, we've been dealing with superheroes before. We ain't dealing with superheroes anymore. These aren't people that decide to put on a costume and fight e- and fight the good fight. Mm-hmm. Like, we are dealing with a, with a higher level life form here. Yeah, I mean, I guess they was, um, um, I guess it's, it's kind of, <clears throat> it's kind of into the um, fantasy genre, uh, where yeah, it's basically like watching uh, um, what's that, um, t- a Clash on Titans or something, yeah. you know, something like that. So I mean, like I said, I'm cool, long as if they don't follow the structure of these superhero movies, and like I said, if you're gonna change it up, this is the movie to do it. Because yeah. these guys are already so different. I'm trying yeah. to find that villain real quick so we can get another look at him. But, uh, but like I said. Because uh, like it was him in a cave with uh, Angelina Jolie's yeah, Somebody Jolie's said this character. thing is like stronger than Galactus. Whatever that yeah. Is. I saw I saw an article about that. Let's, take a, now, let's talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Great question. Um, he almost kind of looked like he had Galactus yeah, head on. Yeah. So is Galactus one of them? I mean, there. I I don't think Galactus is the only world eater. Yeah. So like, well, I mean, like he comes from a like race or something. Eh? Because I, you know what the the nobody, n- nobody, uh, nowhere. nowhere. Yeah. That was one of them celestial. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think this is a celestial. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or something. <laughs> hey, we going into a, a way wider yeah. scope on this stuff, but you know, I am now one of the fans that don't know shit. It's like yeah. I, it's, I don't feel actually, right, yeah. but now I am one of those casuals that's like, hey, what's that? Hey, what's that? Yeah. Okay, I will answer all your questions. Sit over there nicely in the corner, and you will get all your questions answered. <laughs> I am now one of I'm with the kids. Hey, we'll get our questions answered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and this is an interesting place to be because, like, I've never considered myself a hardcore comic book, a hardcore comic book nerd. You know, mm. but like, I I took my comic books very seriously. So up until this point, I've been the one saying, "Look, just go read some comics, man. I need like." If you go, if you're gonna be about this life, be about this life. But if you ain't, just accept that you're casual and sit in your corner and wait for them to give you what they're gonna give you. And like oh, you I'm said, about this life. like now, now we kind of, yeah, him. now we <laughs> kind of in that corner by default because this this ain't was never on our radar for real. Mm-hmm. So like now we either got to get serious about it or we got to stay in the corner and wait for what they give us. I'll I, I chill with the kids on this one. Yeah, it's like I ain't, got, I ain't got to know everything that's going on. I just like, gonna sit back. I'm and sure enjoy at some it. point I'm gonna spend a weekend where I'm supposed to be doing something else, hyper focused on this. And by the time yeah. I go to talk to someone about it, I'll have forgotten it all again. But, uh, yeah, I just know that. Yeah, this is the villain, and I'm like any of them. That face bothers me <laughs> so much. I don't have a problem with the way he looks. It's I, just the fact that I hate CGI faces now. Like, yeah. especially like abstract figures as well. Like, his body isn't like doesn't have a solid silhouette. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, well, we'll see though. We'll see. Um, they've got some cool, got some cool stuff like this. You know, shooting IDs and flying. Hey, that's kind of like if you want to see Superman uh, fight somebody. And actually, you know what? And the, and the CGI looks pretty good. Um, 
it looks like he's actually in the sky fighting this thing. You well, know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd rather see him than uh, Marvel's other super- <laughs> look. The thing, I think dude beat the best of them. Like, man, this all you guys, I beams. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. Shut up, nightlight. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. It looks it looks interesting. Um, I mean, like I'm no less down for it than I have been. So right, right. It right. looks like it's gonna be a, uh, a good ride, and they they certainly look like they're giving it its due. So. But you know something? Uh, it's a nitpick. Oh, my alter ego about to come out. Nitpick yep. McGee. Let me pick my teeth. Uh, <laughs> 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 Nitpick okay. McGee got to come out. And All right, Mr. McGee, uh, <laughs> what, what's your grievance? I don't like I don't like uh, the outfits. I mean, uh, they just look uh, like some. Yeah, I mean they look okay. Like, they just, this is kind of one of my problems. Is like I love like the Asgardian design because like yeah. all this stuff looks like stuff people can wear. Right, yeah, like right, when right, Loki right. first shows up, he's got his long coat, he's got his tunic, and everything. But it's like, it looks like something you can walk down the street in. Yeah, this stuff looks so uncomfortable. Like, and I mean, I guess this is they. Where's the shot when they all together? Yeah, uh-huh. I find that, like everything is a little too solid. You know, yeah, it's kind of like when they make, yeah, like I don't know. It looked like something they can do in the 80s or something. You know, it's just like rubber. It, you know, cause like, <laughs> it's kind of like the, stu- the problems we have. Is that supposed to be with, armor? I think so. It's kind of like the problems we have with the it's outfits off of uh, Jupiter Ascending, right? Where it's mm-hmm. like they can't uh, seem to decide what's clothing and what's armor. So this is a shot with all of them together. Yeah. And um, like I the, don't know. They outfits just look kind of. Like the shapes and the layers just feel and weird. What, look, at my dude, look at my dude right here, man. Yeah. Are those boots or tights? Good question. So everybody got on dresses, even the men. I got a problem with that. So <laughs> I mean, technically, this is more like like Roman tun- tunics and robes. Tunics, tunics and robes. robes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It just I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> but uh, it's a nitpick, yeah. you know. So go on, I mean, go on, nitpick. Pants have only get out of here. Around for a few <laughs> centuries now. Keep that in mind. Huh? Pants have only been like truly popularized for a few centuries. Yeah, but uh, real men wear pants. <laughs> Tell that to Hercules and Ajax. Anyway, um, the original Ajax, not the one in this. So, anyway, uh, it looks all right. Yeah, it looks cool. But that was just my nitpick. I don't yeah. like the outfits, and they they look weird. They do look weird, and it might be different once we get to see them on the big screen. But I'm not with it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A, but you know what? When you see the comic outfits, you'd be like, "Never mind, never mind." Because <laughs> well, the comic like, outfits well, always like bad. The, the whole thing with the TVA, the outfits they had in the comics were atrocious. Yeah, I mean most. I mean yeah. most people outfits they wear thigh high boots. Like, like if you look back, underwear, at some, thigh high boots, yeah. and like no shirt, and like, like what the what you got on? <laughs> like I still like the I still like sh- like sh- shudder when I try to explain like. Red Hood's outfit uh, back in the day when he had the pill helmet and the thigh high boots with the yeah. white jumpsuit. It's like, look, there were some bad Red ones. Hood? Red Hood, Jason Todd wore that. Uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the comics. I thought had, he always wore the jacket in the. He in the he went helmet. through a phase where he wanted to prove he w- could really be a superhero, so he designed himself a superhero outfit. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thank God I missed that. Yeah. But yeah. okay, so. We can wrap up, man. Uh, let's cool. Don't they got? Or do they got the names of? Uh, they ain't got the name of guys. Like Thena. I, th- I think that's not a Thena, I think they're it? like referential. Or do? Are they going to say the people who got the Greek gods from them? Well, like I think they're the basis of Greek and Roman gods. So like Thena is the basis of Athena. I think right, Crow, right, right. They're a version. Yeah, I, I somebody would made a version of those yeah, Greek gods. Crow might be the inspiration behind Kronos. So which one is the speedster? Is it going to be Sprite? I think it's one of these two at the end here. Because I think Sprite is energy projection. Uh, all right, whatever. Who cares? <clears throat> so, all right, that is internals. Um, Eternals. I said internals. You said internals. I said eternals, man. Okay. <laughs> I could have said it. <laughs> it might have <laughs> sound like I said okay. internal combustion, but I said <laughs> eternals. Okay. So, all right, that is our reaction discussion for Eternals final trailer, and uh, you'll get a review from us uh, whenever it drops. It's coming out in November. Yeah. 
So, yeah, you'll get a review for us in November. Uh, they probably drop a couple clips before then, so we might do some reactions yeah. or something. Hopefully we might check out those clips. Hopefully they don't drop every worthwhile scene. I don't know. They do that, though. When they don't feel like it's going to make that money they want, they will start, hey, we'll check this out. Check yeah. this out. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so uh, if you like our content, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you get alerts anytime we post new videos or if we live stream. And don't forget, if you like what you've seen here today, go ahead and hit that thumbs up in the corner underneath the video. And drop a comment down below. What, sh it, what should we be reading to get uh, ourselves educated about the Eternals, man? We want to know. Yes. All right. We out of here, y'all. Peace. Peace.